I'm going to show you two different packages that perform incremental loads of data from a SQL Server table to a master table, which is also a SQL Server table. The new data contains new records as well as updates to existing records. The first package was created using only components that come standard with SSIS. The second package uses three CozyRock SSIS Plus components, as well as some standard SSIS components. This is what I have configured in the control flow. I'm going to show you the data flow now, and we'll come back to the control flow after that. The OLEDB source is used to read in the data that contains new records and updated records. The lookup transformation is used to separate the new records from the updated records. I manually created an alias for each column in the incoming records so that the column has a different name from the corresponding column name in the master table. This will be used for comparing columns in the conditional split transformation. If the structure of the master table changes in the future, this must be updated manually. The lookup transformation must perform a lookup for each incoming row to see if the record is new. This is a time-consuming operation and will increase the execution time of your package. The conditional split transformation is used to perform a comparison of each column in each incoming record to determine if any of the columns have changed. Here's the condition I created to perform that comparison. If the structure of the tables changes in the future, the condition must be updated manually. I built a staging table with all the incoming records that will be used to update records in the master table. Back in the control flow, the execute SQL task uses an update statement to join the staging table with the master table. This must be updated if the structure of the tables changes. And finally, I use an execute SQL task to truncate the staging table. Now I'll show you the package that uses CozyRux SSIS Plus components. First, I drag the data flow task onto the control flow canvas. And then I go to the data flow canvas. I'm going to use the OLEDB source to read in the master table and also use it to read in the table with the updates. So I already selected the right connection manager. And I choose the table named current. That's our master table. This is what the table looks like. It just has four records. And I'm going to set this one up to read the new or updated records. Again, the connection manager is already set up, and I choose the correct table named updates. And this one has six records in it, so it has two new ones. And then the other four records have an updated city. I've got to find sort plus, which is a cozy rock component because I need to sort both of the tables before I can feed them into the table difference component. So I select the ID column as the one to use as the key, and all the rest of the columns will be um, maintained and come out in the output. And then I set up this one the same way. Again, I select the ID column as the, to be used as the key. Now I'm going to use the Cozy Rock Table Difference component. And I need to feed in the results of the sort from the master table. 
So that's called, that's considered the old data. And then I'll feed in the sorted data from the table with the updates. So it's already selected the uh, ID column as the key field, and then we're going to select that we want to output the updated records as well as new records. And this is where you could say that you only want to carry over certain columns, but we want all of them for both situations, new and updated. And now we'll have two outputs coming out of the table difference, so we need to combine them. We're going to use the standard SSIS component called Union All. And we'll select one of the outputs. And then we have to connect another arrow for the other output. So that we have the new and the updated records coming into the union all. I'm going to separate the arrows so that you can tell there's two of them here. And last but not least, I'm looking for the database destination component, which is the feature of this video. It's very simple to configure. And I've selected the Connection Manager, and then I select Upsert. And what that does is it inserts new records, and it updates updated records or changed records. And then we need to tell it which table to put the records into or update the records in. And that's called Current. And then we select the ID column as the key. We click on this and it maps everything because all the names match between the input and the output. Here's different buttons that can do the mapping or unmap everything or refresh the columns. There's one to edit the mapping. And then this one exposes the filters. You can set up filters. And then this is kind of a summary. So we're done configuring that. And we're actually done configuring the whole package. So I'll execute it. And it was successful. Go over and look at the records in the table. This is what it looked like before. And after I executed the package, here's what it looks like. Thank you for watching. Are you tired of updating packages because of changing metadata? How many hours have you spent accommodating new source and destination columns? How many nearly identical packages do you have to maintain? especially when you need to update hundreds of them. Well, you should check out Cozy Rock's Dataflow Task Plus component. Dataflow Task Plus provides the ability to acquire the metadata and map the columns at runtime. You can even use transformations on the data. Just add the changes at the source and destination, execute, and Dataflow Task Plus will handle the process of extracting, transforming, and loading the desired columns from the source to the destination without a need to change the existing package. It works with any standard SSIS Dataflow components, transformations, and application adapters. No more manual package updates. 
Design your SSIS data flows with Dataflow Task Plus and save hundreds of hours. A vision of completely metadata-driven processing is now possible. Download CozyRock's Dataflow Task Plus from CozyRock.com. It's free for testing and development within Visual Studio. If you'd like to follow us on social media, here's how you can do that.